This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And this is a vintage and Sarah Coventry jewelry lot that I just received. I purchased it from Sally at Vintage Discoveries. And I'm going to do two uh, unboxing videos with it. First, I'll show you the vintage jewelry, and then I'll show you the Sarah Coventry jewelry because I uh, took it out and uh, separated it to see um, where it all fit in my jewelry collection, my Sarah Coventry jewelry collection. So this was an excellent uh, vintage box. Uh, cost was um, $68 US. Um, if you were in the U.S., that included postage. So postage to Canada was extra, which is pretty steep, but um, well worth it for even if just for the Sarah Coventry pieces. Um, these are black enamel and gold tone earrings. Beautiful earrings. Um, excellent condition. Um, Sally made sure they had nice uh, earring backs on them. They're oh, almost three inches long, but they're not too heavy, but they're very well made. Uh, no names on them that I could find. So nice pair of earrings. This is a funky set of uh, clip earrings. Look at these. They're not too heavy, but I love the way the all these rings dangle off the chain. You've got this um, marbled or pearled um, acrylic, and then again the acrylic cabochons at the top, and they're not marked from what I remember. But let me just take one out. Yeah, they're not marked. But a funky set of uh, vintage earrings. Oh, I might not want to go back on there very well. Anyway, so beautiful, uh, funky set of earrings. I might repurpose those, those balls. I, I just think are amazing. Um, here's a pin, a brooch. It's not marked. There, sort of a spot there, but I think that's just a mold, a, a spot where it came out of the mold. Um, another one there. So it could have had an alternate way of putting a pin on it. I'm not sure. Um, but a, a lovely design with faux pearls and uh, rhinestones. The r pearls and rhinestones are in excellent condition. The gold tone um, is lovely. For finished jewelry, it doesn't look like it's uh, ever been worn. So, a lovely brooch. So next we have this pair of clip earrings. I'm not sure why they were made as clip earrings. They don't look that old. Um, let me just remove one. There's no, no markings to indicate origin, but nicely made in excellent condition. And a uh, very wearable pair of earrings. So uh, I'll probably keep these and wear them myself. Um, nice little couple, few little rhinestones spread throughout here. Um, and great color. I love the uh, this bright pink accenting the purple enamel. This pair of earrings had me wondering if they were Koro. They're, again, they are clip earrings. Uh, excellent condition, not uh, not marked, however, and beautiful um, detail on the back of the earring, and all the ballotinis are there. There's no discoloration or very little discoloration from glue. I can actually now I see a little tiny bit there, but really sweet um, clip-on earrings. A lovely pair. If I can get it focused better each time. There we go. And Sally organizes everything beautifully on uh, on these cards. Now these, um, I mean, pair steering's been around for a long time, so these could easily be vintage. Um, perhaps not, but amazing rhinestones, uh, marquee cut. Look at the shine on those. So good, good quality rhinestones. Um, you know, I mean, there's no way to tell if they're Swarovski or not, but they have plenty of sparkle 
uh, thrilled with those. I love rhinestones. As I said in one of my other videos, I don't wear them enough, but I love rhinestones. And this is a really cool uh, ring. Opens up sort of from the, it has a little bit of a hinge, a little bit of a hinge. So beautiful baguette uh, rhinestones on each side. Actually um, fits that finger. Oh, it even fits that finger. It can be with a little more space, but uh, I think I would put it on my ring finger. Um, and uh, quite lovely. The rings in this um, vintage set were really quite delightful. And that's one of them. A working locket, nice gold tone, uh, pretty little flower motif. And uh, certainly I'm going to put this away. It's got a lovely little clasp. Um, uh, like a little, not really a box clasp, but uh, comes out like that. And goes back in. I think I'm going to save this for uh, a certain little granddaughter who has a nice small neck and it's not too large of a, of a locket for her. So there's the first um, bag. I f didn't count how many pieces were in here in total, but um, if your if price per piece is uh, a consideration, I mean, I'm sure we're looking at less than two dollars a piece for all the pieces involved. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. Lovely. Um, bangle or bracelet. It's a little small for me, but it would still still fits. Doesn't doesn't wang, wiggle around. Really nice detailing. This uh, twisted rope look. Looks like it has rhinestones, but it doesn't really. It's just the um, the different color, the light color of metal in here, um, that gives it that extra sparkle. No markings or name. But again, beautiful condition for that uh, bangle. Then there's this Monet. Um, I don't know if I can focus. One more try. Uh, not so good. But anyway, a Monet uh, ribbon brooch in excellent condition, beautiful shine. Uh, it's um, very collectible, very wearable. I um, have a fair number of Monet pieces and I don't have this one. So that's always nice. This might not be vintage just by the black uh, sort of gunmetal on the back but beautiful rhinestones and I love, I love, I love, I love the orangey colors. They're not coming out as orange on the uh, video as they are in my hand. They're really quite bright. Um, and uh, all the rhinestones are there and these are all uh, like an orangey color as well. So beautiful um, sort of fall colors or de um, depending on the outfit you were wearing. Um, you could wear this uh, any time of the year. Be great on a hat. Nice dark hat as well. This is another brooch. It's got the uh, riveted construction, so uh, older style. Sea star. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Again, no, uh, no maker's mark or insignia. But a great piece. Here's um, a piece that almost could be a Sarah Coventry piece. It's a um, a leaf with a little ladybug, and the wings are open on the ladybug, and the ladybug's sitting on. All the legs of the ladybug are there. So great gold tone texture, um, not marked. Nice shiny back again, riveted construction. Um, excellent shape. A lot of those could be worn together. They're so beautiful. Now this is a, um, 
in the style of Damascene, I'm, it's not really a Damascene piece. It's painted, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But it's got, um, whoops, I'm sorry. It's got an excellent shape, really unique. Um, tie figurines on the left and right, um, sort of a shield with the boss in the center, and then leaves. Um, so very much even by the back in the style of Damascene, just a C clip, clip. so not a, um, not a spring ring. Um, not sure um, if it was made to go with, uh, I think it's called Niello Damascene, which is um, more oriental based. Um, so that's a piece that I find intriguing and we'll have to do some more research about. Here's another ring. Gorgeous ring. Very high. Black uh, enameling in there. Nice nice design. Nice raised design. Fortunately, I have to put it on my baby finger. Well, yeah, I have to wear it on my baby finger. Which I think it's just a little too big for. See, I'd be scooping up food if I were trying to eat a meal. Does, does not fit on another ring. So someone with the right, with nice long fingers, not like my short stubby ones, um, would really enjoy this ring. There's my two rings. And then this um, feather brooch is huge. It's longer than three inches, because I know my finger's three inches. <laughs> um, and it's, it is marked right in there. I don't know if I can zoom in, I don't know. You can sort of see it. It's really um, difficult to tell, but it says Coro. So this will go in my uh, Coro jewelry collection. Thrilled with it. So we had 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pieces. And there's still more, and then there's still Sarah Coventry pieces. So, there's a beautiful, um, I like the texture of this so that it looks kind of silvery gray. You know, all that sparkle just from the texture of the circles. It looks like it could be um, a Sarah Coventry piece because Sarah Coventry had this design. Um, but this is not marked in any way. So I don't know if it's a copy. I mean, it's such a classic design. It's hard to copyright it, I would think. Anyway, beautiful. Um, some lovely acrylic beads. Now these are molded in place. They are meant to look like um, freshwater pearls. They're not, but nice and light and probably 24 inches long. So, um, a very wearable piece, and you could, you know, hang a nice pin off of it. Lots of things you could do with that. There's this piece. Now, this I don't think is vintage. Um, it has a little tag. Um, that says Sarah. Oh, it does say Sarah Cove. Okay, because on the back here, all it says is Sarah. Oh, cool. So this is a Sarah Coventry piece, and I thought it wasn't. Oh, neato. I'll have to go look this up. Well, there, you get a bonus um, look at a Sarah Coventry piece. Um, and for some reason, it's... Oh, I see the way the chain is. Okay, so... The chain, this is cool. Look at the dimensions of that. I was surprised that because Sarah Coventry tags are usually like a diamond shape or a mirror, a mirror shape. Um, so that's pretty neat. <laughs> a Sarah Coventry piece I didn't know I had. Thanks, Sally. Oh, I gotta go uh, show that again in the next video once I figure out what its name is. Here's another. Um, uh, Damascene style. I think it's more Toledo Damascene 
Um, True Damascene has a whoops, sorry. True Damascene has a lot more black and a lot less gold because the way it's made is the gold wire is inset into the oxidized steel. So um, for this much gold tone, <laughs> these pieces with the dots and so on, um, I'd probably call this Toledo Damascene. So in the or in the style of Damascene. Um, but beautiful piece, beautiful fan shape, uh, no chipping, uh, beautiful coloring. It is uh, in the vintage style. It has a uh, trumpet clasp which pulls out and then this comes off. Now the back is so perfect. It doesn't look like a a real vintage vintage trumpet clasp, but it could be. It just could be that. I lucked out with a piece that's really, really old. Um, but I have, uh, I have read that these trumpet clasps have been copied. So, uh, but they're pretty cool. It's nice to see one just that it pulls up, pulls out like this. This pulls back. You snap it into place, and then you go like that. I wish more of my jewelry had trumpet clasps on them. I lost a Sarah Coventry pin, oh, less than a week ago. I'd only been two places. I was went to a funeral, and it was on my dress. And then I went to the grocery store on the way home. And then when I got home, it wasn't on my dress. And when I went back to the uh, grocery store that day, they hadn't found it. So I waited a few more days, and they did find it. So I was so relieved. It was one of my favorite pieces. This is a nice, um, not glass, but nice plastic cool to the touch um, necklace. It's got small, uh, medium, and large beads sort of divided into stations or sections and has a little tag that says express. Very wearable, nice and long, in excellent condition, but pretty sure it's not glass. No, it doesn't have that chill of glass but it uh, has a good weight to it. So a beautiful, beautiful um, black chain necklace, very wearable. I'm sure I will find times to wear that. And then I have a couple of funk earrings. These are screw back earrings. They've got these uh, glass stones on a, uh, a square. Uh, an unusual style so I don't know how old these would be um, but very interesting and uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to figure out you know how old they they actually are because you don't just put screw backs on uh, on earrings uh, in the last 40 years I don't think so there we go that's it for the um, vintage parts um, that were in the lot that were not Sarah Coventry pieces. We had 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's 20, 25, sorry, the one Sarah piece. So 25 pieces. So we're, you know, very close to, um, I would say, um, $2 a piece for the cost of this um, vintage jewelry lot. Hope you've enjoyed seeing these pieces and join me for the second half of this video as I show you uh, and name, uh, give you all the detailed information about the Sarah Coventry pieces uh, that were in this lot and that um, made me choose this lot. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now from Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes.